in this second um, tutorial on how to use inspiration we're going to look at a few more of the tools before we move on to um, the third tutorial which would in fact be about um, using templates so as you can see from the previous tutorial I've just added um, embellished um, <coughs> our tree a little bit and um, I want to show you um, some of the tools that you can look at um, and if we click down here you can see and again I'll just zoom in so we can see you can see this outline option here um, if you click on that your view changes and what you get is um, a view a text view of the uh, diagram um, and some of you might find this a, a really quick way of actually creating a, um, a, um, a mind map so what you have here is your central idea which is your central um, uh, which is the, the central uh, starting point of your of your mind map and we have the sub um, topics here so or topics so if we click down here you can see we can create um, under central idea if we click on topic we can create a new um, topic here and everything gets renumbered so I'm going to click in here and I'm going to call this uh, resource um, 3 enter and I can put some other text in here Um, and you can just keep uh, adding to this um, and also within this you can actually add if you look over here you can add subtopics so I want to add a subtopic to resource 3 and it gives us this option here um, and I'm going to click in here and say Google and then we'll click on subtopic again so we want to make it another subtopic of resource 3 um, let's click on this let's click on wiki and click on resource 3 again, make another subtopic and let's put in here blog. And that's, you can just keep moving on through all of these um, and you can see, but if we come back down to here, diagram, we can switch back to our diagram view and see what's actually happened. And as you can see, what's happened is, from our tree, we have now got this mess. So we can come back down to arrange and arrange it into a tree and get it to sort it out. And now we can also see that our mind map has gone off the page. And if we click on this one here, we can we can start moving this one here. We can start we can start moving. Oh, come on. Start moving the map around, and everything disappears. So now our tree has been made. If we look here, resource 3, and then we've made this sub map down here. So I'm going to move this down to here and move this all over here, and it's all going to sort itself out. So we've been adding to our tool, and if you if you prefer to look through here, you can you know work in here as an idea, and then flick back to diagram and work it all out. So it really depends on how you know which best way suits you. Um, the next thing I want to show you is actually now that we've created this fairly static diagram you can actually start importing external links so let's go to hyperlink here and I want to I want to make a hyperlink so I click on hyperlink and the text says Google and I just put in the URL so click OK and we've got this link now and we'll go to here and do the same thing click on hyperlink I'll type in our hyperlink which will be what is it blog so it's click OK Move this up to here and click OK so we've now got um, uh, hyperlinks that link us to uh, various other resources so let's come back down to here again zoom in I want to cl um, click on the the hand tool here and move everything around and we've now um, created a, a, a more of our diagram we can actually link to external websites or, um, and use those as part of our central part of our mind map so we've got links to resources that we can use. Um, there's also another quite neat feature down here if we click on this option here and click on word guide 
it looks at, um, it's like a dictionary it looks at what word we've chosen and doesn't come up with um, any options but if we click on this one here and click on word guide it tells us what resource means and so it gives us a dictionary of what it means and you can add to the dictionary so it doesn't recognize blog um, and you know just one of those useful little tools that you can use so we've looked at outline now this option this option here called create this is another way of rapidly creating um, a mind map so if we click on this option here and we want to create can you see I'll just zoom in again um, on the create button there are eight or branches that come off of that and if each if you as you roll your mouse over that the um, the uh, it, the color turns from blue to green and that will indicate the direction that a new um, mind map bubble will be created so let's want, say we wanted on this blog here to create one that goes down to the south um, east here we've got one down here now what will happen now if I click again it will create another one from the highlighted box so you've got to be careful with that if you want to use this tool if you want to keep adding new stuff from um, your original box you can keep adding down there. So this is a quick way of a bit like using the outline tool of actually creating a mind map very quickly. Uh, again it, and it creates the links automatically. So we've gone through outline, won't look at rapid fire, we've gone through create, we've gone through link, we've gone through arrange, gone through notes, gone through hyperlinks, we've done it all. The last thing I want to show you is um, you can use this tool here to transfer your document to um, your word processor document. Um, and that allows you to create a final static um, diagram for students to use or keep as a record. However, there's a more dynamic thing I like to use, um, and that is if we come up to here, up to File, up to Export, we can actually save our, um, our document into either the word processor that you, like you saw before. However, now we can save it into a PowerPoint slide, we can save it to a web page. We can save it to a graphics file and this gives us more options so if you wish to export it you can um, PowerPoint slides web pages etc and you can save your mind map to four different formats so that it does it, it's it can, then can't be editable but it can be shared I'm going to cancel that and obviously the last one is if you want to be able to edit this in the future you just click on save as and save wherever you want to save your document to and it saves as a, a inspiration file a dot isf file okay and that really brings tutorial 2 to an end we've gone through all the basic tools um, on how to use and how to add and how to um, edit a mind map